Power Rangers are in trouble, and Billy hasn't finished the modifications yet. I'm afraid he's too busy at the moment. You will have to complete the Lance modifications, Alpha, using Billy's instructional video that he made for some reason. Ay, 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 ay. Materials for this prop include cardboard, a 1 inch piece of PVC pipe and cutter, aluminum tape, black and blue electrical tape, two gift wrap rolls, barbecue skewers, duct tape, newsprint, adhesive foam squares, label paper, a compass, scissors, and a pen or pencil. First, measure and cut your PVC pipe to 63 inches. Remember to exercise caution when using a PVC cutter. Wrap the central 5 inches of the pipe in aluminum tape. Cut a gift roll down the middle and wrap it around the PVC pipe, matching up the ends. Duct tape the roll in place lengthwise to cover over the small gap in the tube. Repeat this process on the other side of the pipe. Wrap both tubes in black electrical tape, leaving the center aluminum alone. Wrap a piece of aluminum around the tube at the end closest to the center, on both sides. It should be about 2 inches wide. Next. Wrap a strip of blue electrical tape just above the aluminum. Leave a small strip of black, then wrap another piece of blue. Repeat this for the entire lance. Next, draw and cut out this design. Trace and cut out the template four more times. Label the sections on one template, then cut the entire thing into its component pieces. Here's a breakdown. Notice that I labeled light pieces with the same number on opposite sides of the trident. Use this first set of component pieces to draw the same lines on the other templates, and cut them out. Cut barbecue skewers to the length between the component pieces, and duct tape them in between the cardboard pieces, as shown. If you've already watched Power Daggers, this should be familiar. At this point, you're going to need to bend and fold the template. These points are apexes, and the components around them should slant down from the point. In order to maintain the points, bend the side blade in on itself and wrap a piece of duct tape around it tightly. Repeat the process for the other two points. Place a bit of newsprint between the duct tape and the cardboard for stability. Repeat the entire process for a second trident piece. Place the two pieces together, newsprint inside, and duct tape them together around the points. Stuff some newsprint into these sections before duct taping them shut. Wrap the entire trident in aluminum tape. Because the trident is so faceted, often I was able to cut pieces of aluminum that exactly fit over the shape. From one of your remaining templates, cut out this section and trace a second. Wrap the piece in blue electrical tape from this point up. Use adhesive foam squares to attach the triangle in place on the trident. Cut a piece of aluminum to fit over the blue piece as shown. Repeat the entire process on the flip side of the trident. Tape the bottom portions of the trident pieces together. Place the PVC pipe into the trident and use adhesive foam squares on the inside of the triangle piece to connect them. Repeat on the other side. Duct tape the trident piece to the PVC pipe. Wrap from the base of the trident to just past the bottom of the triangle piece with blue electrical tape. Wrap the point where the trident meets the pipe with a strip of aluminum tape. Next, use a compass to draw a circle with a 3 inch diameter. Make another circle inside the first, half an inch smaller. Cut out the ring with an open point. Bend the ring so it has a slight curve to it, like a volcano, until its upper surface has a diameter of 1 and 3 quarter inches. Cut away the excess cardboard. Use this ring to draw three more just like it, and cut them out. Duct tape the rings into the cone shape. Use the larger part of the cone and draw another circle and cut it out. Duct tape the cone pieces to the circle. Cover the piece in blue electrical tape. Draw a circle with a 1 and 3 quarter inch diameter and cut it out. Make sure it fits inside the cone piece. Cut a strip of cardboard a quarter inch high and wrap it around the edge of the circle. Duct tape it in place. Wrap the coin in aluminum tape and place it inside the cone piece. Use adhesive foam to attach the cone piece at this point on the lance. Repeat the entire process for the flip side. 
draw or find a picture of the Triceratops power coin, size it in a photo editor, and print four copies of it on label paper. Cut out the coin and place it over the aluminum. Repeat on the other side. You'll need to build a second trident for the other end of the lance. Often, Billy's lance is depicted as separate pieces. I couldn't find a good way to make it stable and be able to come apart, so I'd just build separate pieces if I wanted them. And there's your finished power lance. Billy, I'm sending you the modified power lance now! Thanks, Alpha! Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>